Hi, this is Julie for Beataholic, and today I want to show you how to make a custom-made clasp. It's a hook and eye clasp. In this bracelet here, you also see the herringbone wrap, which is a wire wrapping technique, which you can see in another video by Beataholic. And then I needed something to finish the bracelet, and just none of my clasps were working right, so I decided to make one myself, and I want to show you how to do it. It's really simple. It's a hook with a little flourish on the end, and then we just have a round eye. So to do this, you're going to need a chasing hammer and a steel bench block. You're going to need some 18 gauge craft wire. Any wire will work if you want to be using silver filled or a different color wire, by all means use that. 18 gauge is a good gauge though for this project. You'll need some round nose pliers, flush cutters, and flat nose pliers. So to begin, what I want you to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to cut about five inches of the 18 gauge wire. You're not going to be using all of this, but I like to have a little bit more rather than get stuck and not have enough. So to begin, we're going to make the hook part. And what we want to do is right about inch and a half, two inches from the tail, we're going to make a wrapped wire loop. Really simple to do. I'm just going to push the wire up and over the round nose. And I'm just going to kink it back so it's straight. Now I'm going to take my flat nose, hold it in place, and I'm going to make several tight wraps. I'm going to do that three times. And this is going to be the part which connects to your necklace or bracelet. I'm going to take my flush cutter, snip off the end. You can tell that kind of sticks out a little bit, so I'm just going to take my pliers, push it in, so we have a nice finished look. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my other tail end so that I have about an inch and a fourth, inch and a half of wire. Just snip that off. Now in the orientation, so that my loop that I just created is going to go in the same direction of the one I want to create now. I'm going to take the tip of my wire end and I'm going to put it in the tip of my round nose plier so that I'm going to create a smaller little loop. And I am going to go ahead and just bend it over. So I've got a little decorative flourish. Now what I want to do is I want to use the wider part of my round nose pliers. I'm going to stick at about the halfway point, I want to be a little bit uh, more wire towards the base loop, a little less wire towards my little flourish. And I'm just going to bend this over now, like so. I'm going to try to straighten it out just a little. It is wire, so it will work with you. Don't be afraid to bend it. And to finish it off, I'm going to put it on the edge of my steel bench block and I'm just going to hammer the top part. So right there we have the hook part to our clasp and now we just have to make the eye. To do that, I'm going to take another four or five inches of wire And I'm going to do the same process as I did with the hook part. I'm just going to create a wrapped wire loop. When I'm working with the heavier gauge wires, I really like to be able to get a nice firm grip on my loop, and that's why I use my flat nose pliers so much. If you're working with a thinner gauge wire, you can usually just finish off the wrapping while holding it with your round nose pliers. Total personal preference, whatever works best for you. So I just did about one and a half loops, and I'm going to cut that tail end, press it in. Now what I want to do is I'm going to create the larger part, which is going to be the eye part. So I'm just going to go about to here. So my 
Ground nose pliers are right up against the wrapping I just did. And now I'm going to put this towards the back so I get a much larger loop. Wrap it around. Straighten it out. And grasp it. And now I'm going to wrap my tail until it meets my previous wrapping. So I get a nice, complete look there. Trim off the excess. Press in. If you have any straightening out to do, you can always help form it with your pliers. I'm going to put this now on my bench block and I'm going to hold it against the edge because if I do it like this, it's going to contort it because this is raised up. So I just want to hold it against the edge. And there we go. And there you have an easy to make hook and eye clasp.